Hello, everybody. Oops. And welcome to this episode of the I Hate Matt Wall Poetry Podcast, where today we're going to answer the age-old question from absolute douchebags as to why do non-writers want to write a book? God! Oh, fuck! I'm trying to get back into a good uh, schedule, a good rhythm for doing all this stuff. And it's been a bit tricky, I'm not going to lie. But I am enjoying what I'm doing. I don't know exactly what episode this is. It's either 98 or 99. Regardless, that means episode 100 is right around the corner. So, if you have questions for me, you could either send a voice message, or you can and just email that to me, or you can just send me an email if you want to do it that way. Or, if you're super lazo you can just leave a comment under this if you are watching this on youtube yeah and that's how that'll go and episode 100 is right around the corn hair so this will be fun i'm out of coffee so um i found some tea bags so i tea bagged a cup of hot water with some brandy in it to loosen my lips fuck oh my god I put a bit of brandy in there. For some reason that tastes like banana. I don't know why. Um, if you have been keeping up with my watch along series on YouTube, I've done um, commentaries or watch alongs um, on videos of Ann Sexton, um, Charles Bukowski, D.A. Levy, um, and. Uh, I did somebody else. Who did I do? Saunders. I don't know. I might be doing another one tomorrow. Oh, yes. This Saturday will be September 9th, maybe? Um, I'm hosting... I'm not hosting it. I'm doing a free workshop through the San Fernando Valley Zine Fest. And if you go on... Um, I think it's SFV zinefest.com or if you go, are on Instagram just go to sfv zinefest and you can see the deets about that because it is online through Zoom and we're going to be doing the write a poetry chapbook in under an hour. So it's one of those things too where going to that and it's free and you get to meet all the vendors who are tabling at the convention or the festival and everything. Um, the one thing that's kind of cool is that you get to see kind of what Anarchy Crew people do every Friday. So hopefully you guys can all come to that. It'll be a lot of fun. So I will hopefully put links to that down below. And then also this week, hopefully by Sunday, I'm going to start putting out my out of print chat books and even some chat books that aren't out of print as ebooks up on Amazon. So if that is something that you are interested in, um, that is something that you can look up and look forward to. With that said, let's get on with the Shizamino. All right, so I got this article sent to me from the wonderful Caitlin. Thank you so much. It's not an article, it's a Reddit post. So let's get on over to this and hear what the amazing Deer and Velvet has to say. Because we all know that everyone's amazing, allegedly. Okay. This post is called What's So Great About Books That Non Writers Want to Publish Them So Bad? I don't know if that is grammatically a correct sentence or not. It reads clunky as shit. And I'm gonna be really judgy about this because this deer in velvet is trying to kinda gatekeep here. And the funny thing is, 
is that you will see that these people who say, we're not trying to gatekeep, we're just telling you that everything you're doing is wrong, and like, why do you even want to do this? This is what I'm doing. <laughs> so, whatever the fuck you want to call it, to me, that's just... Um, People who are jealous and not digging the fact that other people could come in and either show them up or just clog the field, you know. Just focus on your own shit. Like, I don't know how many times I have to fucking tell people this. But it's funny because some of the things that come up are exactly the reason why you need to just focus on your shit so you always know a good post when it starts off by telling you how not something they are but then here we go so this one starts off with i'm being a hundred percent earnest and not judging i'm just curious i know this is a sensitive topic so please Please, God damn it, keep it fucking civil. I have no interest or ability to smash anyone's dreams. So please don't worry that I'm doing that by just asking this question. Wow. I mean, this person seems like they're on the up and up, obviously, because of the words that they have said. I'm a journalist currently writing a book and mostly loving it. Well, if you're a journalist, why are you writing a book? Like, why why are you crossing that stream? That seems weird. Oh, and you're mostly loving it. So this isn't even a passion of yours. Okay. Okay, well, well let's get off that. Let's get to this question. I have more power in my project and more money, just still not enough. Then when I was writing 500 to 1,000 word articles... I know I can only write this well because of my years of writing and reporting articles on related topics. And I'm in some lovely, useful author groups of other people who have done the same. Wow, that is just fucking amazing. I love the fact that you have done all of this stuff and you were making more money on 500 word articles than you are writing your book. That's amazing. But many author groups are alarming to me. I have a lot of hobbies and it's obvious to just about every athlete, artist, and even journalist that I know that you get good by practicing feedback, challenging yourself, and you don't attempt the big dirty on your first day. You don't? You don't? You don't buy a hundred by hundred foot canvas and expect to create a sellable masterpiece without making many many smaller paintings that's weird because i just watched this video about a pig who paints with its snout on big giant canvases that sell well, that's that's interesting you do not roller skate down the steepest hill in san francisco if you haven't skated at a rink before well i would argue that no one should fucking do that anyway whether you've skated a hundred times or not. That's a stupid fucking thing to do, so don't fucking do that. Again, you do you. It's not my ass on the line. I'm just saying, most people in these groups know that success requires gradually increasing practice. I know there are some very rare exceptions as well. Okay, so because you know there are some very rare exceptions, that negates everything you just fucking said. So, when you try to make all of these, um, like, straw man arguments, like, like I've never flown a plane, so why am I going to fly a space shuttle? Both of these are great fucking things to ask somebody. Especially since I didn't want to do either one of those things. The difference between being creative 
and being trained is that the people who were trained, like this fucking schmuck here, um, and the reason why they're probably having such a hard time with their novel is that they learn how to write 500 word clickbaity articles. Oh, I'm a journalist because like I had an opinion and I asked my friend a question. So that makes me a fucking journalist. You learn how to do these things and you're in these writer groups where you practice, you get feedback and you challenge yourself to do the same thing over and over again. So that's not really that challenging, but that's okay. I digress. You are not talking about being creative. You are talking about doing a cookie cutter fucking thing over and over and over again. And when we get into the comments here, um, I'm going to show you some other people who don't know the difference between creativity and fucking like going through a cookbook. Okay, because there is a fucking difference. It's the difference between a fucking artist and a fucking craftsman. So you're bitching about being a craftsman and people coming in thinking they can do shit. So let's hear about what is really pissing off Deer in Velvet. Yet these author groups are full of people who apparently do not like to write and only want a book out. Really? Because you were very happy writing 500 word articles. That doesn't sound like you want to write. That sounds like something you did because you didn't have a fucking job. Fucking asshole. Um, so many posts things like, nude writing, how do I get published? Or, um, and I'm going off of memory here, but I don't think I'm exaggerating the error rate of this post I saw. Um, I can't even fucking read what this says. I heard 7 to have 80,000 words write, get Agnet manuscript, mine 7K words, agent. Or no, that is agent. Yeah, that one's agent. Here can at publish my Bach enough words. Okay. So now this person's just being a fucking condescending prick because honestly my guess is is that that sentence was put together by someone who English is not their first language and there are a lot of people in other countries who write books in their own language but they get a lot of their advice and help from people here so um, that's kind of fucked up oh <sighs> I'm not going to call you a racist, dear in velvet. I do not know you. All I know is that you have a bad take when it comes to this. Okay, so let's keep going here. I've asked many, many, many of these people. Wait, I've asked. And many, many, many of these people do not write short stories, articles, blog posts, single poems, fan fictions, or anything after high school before attempting to publish a book. They don't want to take classes or get feedback. They just want the book out and hundreds of thousands of sales. In fact, they seem offended at the suggestion, no matter how gentle, that practicing writing will help. And one person even said that shorter, easier types of writing never even crossed my mind. My question is this, what is it about books specifically that attracts so many people who do not want to tend their craft? Or is this attitude prevalent across other industries? Wait, hang on. Guys, guys, everyone needs to calm the fuck down here. There is a postscript. Please recall that I am not stopping you or anyone else for trying whatever you want to try. Well, Dear and Velvet, just so you know, you do not have the power or authority to stop anyone from doing anything, but I'm glad that you feel so strongly about yourself that you do have that ability, which you don't. Okay, so there are many, many, many fucking things here to take into account. One, the reason why um, a lot of people want to write books 
instead of all of these little fun things that you talk about is because books sell and all that other shit doesn't. Yes, your blog posts sell. If you like write a very clickbaity blog post thing that gets picked up on a big site and then you have your awesome like click cost per click bullshit ad share revenue thing. That's all bullshit and crap. Okay. So not everyone has been blessed to have this great career that you have that for some reason you're throwing away to be another one of these people who write a book. So this whole thing just sounds like to me that you want to write a book now and you're having a hard time and there's all these other people who haven't done all the dumb shit you did and they're not having as hard a time as you are and that pisses you off. For some fucking reason. When all you should be doing is minding your own fucking business and putting out your fucking book. Okay? So that's one. Um, Another thing is, is that, like, the world we live in now, people fucking are texting and posting and doing this shit all fucking day long. Like, for instance, there's this person... um, yeah, Deer and Velvet, who should be working on their book, but instead they're spending all this time making this ridiculously stupid fucking condescending fucking Reddit post for just to bitch about something when they should be working on their book. So basically, all of these people are constantly writing and constantly reading stuff, and people like things and upvote things, and this makes people think, whether it's true or not, that maybe they're good at telling stories and it just takes one person to tell somebody oh my god you have such an amazing life you should write a book and then that person's gonna go oh shit i should write a book i remember one time a long time ago i wanted to write something so i think i'm gonna do it the problem here is is that for some reason you have an issue with this who fucking cares If somebody wants to fucking write something, let them write it. And I know you're saying that you're not stopping them, but these questions you're putting out there, you're you're explaining why these people are not qualified to do this thing that you obviously can't do because you're loving it mostly. You're having a hard time writing your book, okay? But for some reason, it's really bothering you that just any old fuck could write a book. Now, you did say, tend their craft, which means you are not an artist. You are somebody who builds something on an assembly line. So you got your fucking Save the Cat book or whatever fucking stupid ass fucking craft book telling you like, oh, you do this and then you do this and then by page this, this happens and then by page this, this happens and then you take it to your workshop with all your other fucking drones and you guys sit there and complain and bitch about like everything until everyone's work sounds exactly the fucking same and then you're like, yes, this is good for a mass audience. Yes, I think this will work. You're not an artist. You are fucking making camels. What the fuck does it matter to you what anyone else is doing? I know this is just a question, but why the fuck are you writing a book? Why don't you stick to your shitty fucking, like, is Kim Kardashian's ass fake? Articles. Why don't you stick to that shit? Like, why are you writing a book? What what the fuck do you think you have to say that's so fucking important that you can't say in 500 words with a clickbaity title? Hmm? Hmm? Why aren't you writing short stories? Where have you been published? What awards have you won? Besides, I posted something on Reddit. And a bunch of other, I'm guessing, angry white guys who are middle-aged with degrees who haven't done anything are on this too complaining about shit. What the fuck does it matter? Because it doesn't. You can make a lot of money writing books. If the books aren't good, if the books are put together poorly, they won't sell. And if the person who wrote the book, like, doesn't have that fire burning inside of them, 
they probably won't write another book. But if they do, they will continue to write books. And judging by your logic, they will get better with each book they write. So who fucking cares? What the fuck does it matter? Your writing workshops are kind of bullshit for the most part. The true test to see if something's good enough is if people fucking buy it. And I know some of you are like, that's very capitalistic of you. Blah, blah, blah. It's the fucking truth. Because if no one is buying your work, you're not going to continue to make art. I mean, you can if you are some fucking trust fund fuck. But for everyone else in the world who isn't fucking having their entire life paid for, it's fucking hard. So let the market decide. If this person is good enough, they will sell fucking books. If they aren't, they will fucking fade into obscurity, which I'm going to assume is going to be the future for a lot of the people who are on this thread. It's not a big deal. Drop it. So let's see what these fucking brainiacs have said. Um, some of these aren't bad, actually. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna read all of these, but. Um, Okay, well, lost actor. Could, could someone help him? We have a lost actor here on aisle three. Okay, so lost actor says, first, I hear you and agree. No, that's not going to cut it. Two, I understand you being on the defensive. I will allude to that in a bit. Ooh, building suspense. Lost actor must be a writer, even though this is not written in any form that is like agreeable um the writing community is long ellipses they like positive feedback and nothing else um no that's not true i, I don't know why anyone wants any feedback at all just do the thing do it right and keep going that's it if you do something wrong change it it feels very detached from reality to me and it is not just here, but several other places I've been a part of. I cannot count how many times I have been called a gatekeeper for trying to explain to a new writer what basic story structure is, or what outlining is, or for asking why they go from first person to third person in the same chapter. Okay, so I'm gonna stop you here, lost actor. My guess is gonna be your tone, okay? If your tone is shitty and condescending, people are going to get mad. It's not that people don't want to hear advice. It's that they don't want to hear it in a shitty, condescending fucking way. So check your fucking tone and see if when you're actually trying to help somebody, you're actually trying to help somebody with no chuckling, no eye rolling, no, oh man, like none of that shit. Okay, because that's going to be my first guess, because like I'm not I'm not going to be a dick here, but I'm assuming anyone who's going to spend their time on a fucking Reddit post like that and then try to fucking rationalize the fucking thing that the per poster wrote. I'm guessing you have a bit of sarcasm and condescension in your voice. I bet your tone is a bit harsh. I bet your eyes fucking roll whenever the fuck you want, like a googly eye fucking cat. Okay? And if you don't believe me, why don't you ask the significant other you don't have or your closest friend and say, how's my tone? Do I come off like a know-it-all piece of shit? And I'm interested to hear what they say to you. Okay. Um, basic story structure. This is one of the problems I have with a lot of stuff. And I know a lot of people are going to be, well, basic story structure is just what it is. It's basic. And every story should follow some kind of basic story structure. Yes, if you want to write cookie cutter fucking shit. Yes, do that. You will probably get a publisher and you will probably get a book deal if you hit all the other notes that you're supposed to hit in a book. And you might sell a moderate amount of copies. But the books that fucking explode, 
and the books that fucking are legendary are the ones that do not follow all the rules. And again, it comes down to being an artist instead of a craftsman. So if you want to be a craftsman, do this thing that Gatekeeper Lost Actor is talking about. Um, I don't know why you would need to talk to someone about outlining if you're reading their manuscript, but that's a whole other fucking thing. Okay. I write because I love art, stories, and philosophy. Hopefully one day I can move people the way I was by stories. That is a perfectly good thing to strive for. So I'm, I'm with you there. If I can afford to pay for my family while doing it, great. Same with my acting. But I'm also a realist, which is why I work as a bouncer and an armed guard to pay for my family. I'm expecting vengeful downvotes and comments. Wow. Um, you know, if you put that out there in the universe, that might be what you get. Um, pay for my family. You use that term twice. If I can afford to pay for my family, to what? What what is happening with your family? Um, if you want to be able to move people with your stories, I would say work on phrases like pay for my family. Um, yeah, that's just that's just me talking here. I'm just I'm just editing. I'm I'm doing some content editing for you there. Okay, and then Deer and Velvet comes back and says, Yes, I was wondering if some people see book publishing as the lottery with no skill, practice, or learning required. Oh, to be fair, I do think that they're trying hard and putting in the time as they actually write the book. Just not the other stuff. Okay, you don't know what anyone's fucking doing behind closed doors. Okay, so don't fucking do that. And I like how this person keeps like saying something kind of shitty and then does the whole to be fair thing. Maybe there are other things that people approach in a similar way to publishing. Maybe people see someone selling a $2 million Pokemon card and decide to get into Pokemon trading without understanding that there was a prob that there was probably a lot of unseen work that went into securing that deal. What the fuck are you talking about? I love that whenever you talk about art, you talk about something that is not artistic. Okay, someone getting into Pokemon cards because they want to sell a two million dollar Pokemon card. All they have to do is buy a card rare enough that hopefully someday will turn into a two million dollar Pokemon card. Okay, like. People do shit like this all the time. Like with comic books, they did it. Like people who knew nothing about comic books or nothing about fucking Pokemon cards. They just talked to who they needed to talk to, find out what to do, and then went and fucking did it and made some fucking money. So that's a really silly thing to compare to craft writing, um, which is what this is about. Um, that's funny slash sad that you're called a gatekeeper for spending your time trying to help someone with their story. Sorry that happened. Are you? I'm in a few writing, mostly journalism groups, I like because they are targeted towards professionals and these people care more about the quality of their work than they do about their egos. Oh my fucking God. Are you joking me right now? That is probably, like, the most, like, oxymoron fucking sentence I've ever fucking read. I actually run a group of authors in my genre, and I haven't run into any problems, even though we all make recommendations to each other. And I think it's for two reasons. Okay, so let's hear what Darren Velvet has to say here. So these two reasons are, we meet by video and use real names. If you're drama... That's your reputation and career at risk. Okay, so you are a gatekeeper. Like, that's basically the definition of being a gatekeeper. Okay. I targeted professional writers in the groups I like to join. The group description includes some of our conversation topics like agents, advances, grants, research, ethics and other things that I think are less relevant to certain types of writers. Okay, so you basically built yourself 
a shiny castle to live in with these other fancy people. And, like, does this mean, like, people are trying to get in and you're not letting them in unless they fall into those categories? Or is it just that nobody knows you or gives a shit? And so you only have a group of, like, a handful of people. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. Um, let's see. Um, Arcadia. Whatever. In addition to what others have said, I think a large part of it is just that writing is a very accessible hobby. If you want to create a massive painting, oh my god, why do we have to fucking keep comparing everything to painting? If you want to create a massive painting, you have to go out and buy canvas and paint first. If you want to set a roller skate, is this the same person? Oh my god, did this person get into another account and like, oh, this is sad. To set a roller skating record, but you have to buy roller skates and find a hill to do it on. But if you want to start writing, all you have to do is open the notes app on your phone and start typing. You don't have to buy any special equipment or spend any real money to get started. All you need is a computer and some kind of word processor or notepad and a pen. And most people already have all these things laying around. So lazy people with half-baked ideas. Oh, God. You're right. If I wanted to be a professional rider, the first thing I should do is buy roller skates and find a hill to skate down. Because that would prove to you that I fucking mean business. Fucking idiots. Big ideas turn to writing not because they actually like writing, but because it seems like an easy and cheap way to get their big idea out into the world. As opposed to something like filming a short film or creating a video game, which requires special software training and equipment wow i love all these people who are in the film industry who are talking shit on writers as being fucking lazy motherfuckers when the fucking writer strike is on classy first off it is accessible and there's nothing wrong with it being accessible because the thing here is just the act of writing the book is going to separate the wheat from the chaff writing a book is not the easiest thing in the world. Like, I would think you would be more pissed off about people writing flash fiction because motherfuckers could finish that. And then everyone would be fucking doing that if that's really your fucking problem. But the actual writing of a book, of a novel, okay? If we're talking like, I don't know, 50 to 80,000 words, okay? Just that task is going to... All of these people that you think are just lazy and not really wanting to do this, they will fall by the wayside after they write the first chapter. So stop worrying about it. Stop making this keep you up at night. Just work on your own fucking shit. And apparently all of us need to buy roller skates and try to paint a painting. Fucking hell, dude. Oh, Avid Reader has some fucking hot takes here, so let's see what this says. At a writing conference I attended some time ago, a writer said much the same. She said that you don't need paints, a musical instrument, a good voice. But guess what? A lot of people have good voices, and they didn't have to buy that either. That's a fucking stupid thing to say. Film equipment and a crew. No, but you have a fucking iPhone with a camera on it. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, access to it, dude. Okay, here are all these things to write. You just need a laptop or a legal pad and a pen. Also said, everyone believes they have something to say, and writing is the easiest way to get it out. The problem comes when you don't know how to say it and haven't figured out why anyone else would want to hear it. Okay, first off, that's stupid. I will say there is a problem when you don't know how to say what you want to say. That is a problem, and that's something people got to figure out. Some people are natural at it and just fucking do it, okay? But this thing here, and haven't figured out why anyone else would want to hear it. People love hearing stories all the fucking time, and every fucking artist out there, every fucking writer, every author has an audience. There are pe- There's a story out there for everyone, But these fucking, like, stuck-up motherfuckers think that, like, oh, no, no one would ever like that book. And then these are the same people who hate Stephen King because he's a hack writer who somehow has sold more books than fucking God. Okay? So, whatever. Avid fucking reader. Jesus Christ. Okay, what's next here? Bad take, avid reader. Um, Vanity Inc. says... 
My theory is, colon, people are natural storytellers. Boom. That's bang. That's perfect. That is how we have explained the world since we developed the brains to do so. Perfect. We create ideas and fit them together. We are not natural writers. True. Some people spend so much time doing casual writing, like this post. Thank you for acknowledging that, Vanity Inc. I appreciate it. And generally speak language, though, they don't naturally see the difference between I have a great story idea and have honed the skills necessary to be a great writer to tell it. And I have a great story idea. I just need to put the words down on paper and then I'm a writer. Okay, now you're getting shitty. This is not good. I know I was guilty of just that when I wrote my first novel as a high schooler. I don't know if high schooler is proper grammar and you claim to be a writer. It always reminds me of being 13 or so and learning that there were acting classes. Oh, this sounds stupid. Uh, Okay. I'm really curious to see how old Vanity Inc. is. Because, like, when a lot of people talk talk about, oh, man, back when I started my career, you know, da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. If they're constantly talking about things they did when they were in high school, that means they're, like, 21, 22. They have no fucking reason to fucking say anything sit back and let the adults figure this out guys come on that was condescending to me there wasn't it yeah probably should check that kind of shit okay avid readers back i think there is something about being called author that appeals to people how many times do you see some talking tv head or tv talking head quote unquote write either a 20-page children's book or a collection of their opinions on stuff just so they can call themselves author. I do wonder how real authors who struggle... Oh my fucking God. I do wonder how real authors who struggle over their craft and struggle to get published feel about that. Hey, avid reader, let me ask you fucking something. So in order to be an author, do you have to struggle? Do you need to like fucking like Oh, God, like, my life was so hard, but I was just writing with a a pencil on the side of a fucking newspaper for years because no one would read my shit, and then I finally learned enough stuff, and then I met an agent who changed my life, and now I wear gold panties. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, are you mad that, like, a children's book isn't very clever? That it's not, like, deep literature? Are you mad that children only read 20-page books? Are you calling the writer lazy? A collection of their opinions? On stuff? Dude, I'm gonna fucking let you in on a little secret here. The reason why people become authors today is because since 2012, there's been really good money and there's been no gatekeepers. Even though you're here on Reddit trying to fucking do that. But to be fair, even if this was before 2012, you probably still would have no access to a traditional publisher. So your gatekeeping would not even exist. You would just be like complaining to some kid at the library. So whatever. Um, That's a shit take. So there you go. Okay, so I'm a snail. I am a snail. I'm okay. I don't fucking know. You're a writer and you can't even spell your fucking name. This is such, in all caps, a good question. I love it. There is also often this weird sense of entitlement about it. Like somehow deserve, in all caps, it without putting any work or effort. Okay. Well, since you are a writer, you obviously know how like amazing it is to constantly write in all caps and i'm sure you do that all over your book because you are obviously a professional and you have probably definitely put in all the work and all the effort again writing a book is not easy and so if someone writes a book fuck off I don't understand this weird sense of entitlement that you think no one else should be able to do the thing that you think you're capable of doing, which, again, I'm still having a hard time seeing. 
But, you know, all these people on Reddit have their fake fucking names and they hide behind their fucking avatars and they say stupid shit and get all fucking mad because they're fucking pansy ass pussies who would never say any of the shit to any real fucking human being's face. So fuck them. This is fucking just ridiculous, dude. Some people have ideas that they want to share with the world in the form of books. That is a very good statement. Mostly pictures of dogs. Thank you for that. Um, For example, a person who has lived an interesting life may want to write their memoir. Thank you so much for, like, explaining that to me because that... uh, Fuck, dude. Like, I, I have always been curious as to why anyone would write something called a mem or a war. A person with a great imagination may write a sci-fi novel or fantasy. Oh my god. Mostly pictures of dogs is like on it. Just like like truth bombs and logic. <laughs> they might not be great writers but they do have ideas they are passionate about. I'm an editor. Oh. Okay. And we do sometimes publish books that are not amazingly written or even require a ghostwriter because the ideas are really strong. There are also some people who mistakenly think that writing books is an easy way to earn money. It isn't. Okay. Well, let's talk a little bit about this. Um, Dear in Velvet, if you want to know why people are writing books who you think shouldn't be writing books, it might be because... Mostly Pictures of Dogs is an editor who has come right out and said that they put out books that aren't very well written. Okay? So there you go. There's a market for it. That's why it's being done. Case fucking closed. (sighs) And then um, with Mostly Pictures of Dogs um, saying that writing books isn't an easy way to earn money. It isn't. It might be because you're putting out bad books. Who knows? But at the end of the day, everyone should be able to fucking create something if they want to create it. So shut the fuck up, everyone. But mostly pictures of dogs. So far, you win best comment of the day. Um, Let's see what else we got here. Rogue Modron. I don't get it either. I've encountered quote-unquote writers who do not like to read. I've been writing seriously for nine fucking years and less seriously for much longer. And only now do I feel I am beginning to be able to write things that might serve an audience well and be publishable. Well, that just sounds like you sucked. And you're still having confidence issues. Okay, guess what? You, you've encountered writers who don't like to read? Well, I don't like to read bad shit. I have a specific taste, and I like reading stuff that I like. So I only read stuff that I like. I don't just read because dumb fucks on Reddit tell me that these are books I'm supposed to read. Do you see how this fucking works? Who fucking cares, dude? So fucking dumb. Like, you have to do this to do that. Okay, now... um. Zyguy1 wrote a fucking um, book here for us to read. Oh, and he ends it with period. I don't even want to read this because I think this is going to piss me off. Really, really piss me off. Um, But I just want you guys to know again, this is a writer's group on Reddit. Okay. These people here are allegedly writers. Let's see what Zyguy has to say. I've been a number of people. Um, Zyguy can Zyguy one. Can you repeat um, what you just said there? I think I missed that. I've been a number of people. Okay. All right, Zyguy. <sighs> so yeah. If you are going to talk shit on quote-unquote bad writers, make sure you run your fucking comment through Grammarly. For the love of fucking God, just please. 
make it a little harder for me to fucking make fun of you. Joe Beal. I wonder if this is the Joe Beal. It boggles my mind, but the logic I hear on a daily basis is that people love movies. Hollywood makes production of a movie with adequate budgets for their story virtually impossible and a book has very low bar to entry. I've made films and even after a project is greenlit, it is funded and killed without ever being seen by an audience than it sees a single screen. Books don't suffer this fate anywhere near as often. Um, Joe, I think you came in like swinging for the wrong fences here. Like none of this has anything to do with the other. And that is a huge assumption. And I think there's plenty of books that are started that are never done, that are never finished. And every author out there should have like a file on their computer or a drawer in their desk full of notebooks of unfinished work. Okay. So I don't know what to tell you, Joe Beal. You can't be the real Joe Beal. Um, uh, I, I'm fucking bored of all of this. First of all, okay, so Mad Badger's like, first of all, it's not just bugs. I'm in the music business, and that's happening there too. Jesus fucking Christ. Untrained musicians hoping to get famous. These motherfuckers. Okay, whatever, dude. Like, seriously, like... Why don't you guys just focus on being better? Here's the thing. If everyone out there is so bad, you guys should be able to be the cream of the crop. You should be able to fucking skyrocket to success with all of this vast knowledge and talent that you have. Okay? So if all of this is true, everything you're saying, why ain't you rich? Okay? Fucking hell. I can't anymore. This... Caitlin, thank you so much for this. I hope I did this justice for you. Um, th this was absolutely almost impossible to fucking go through. So, fuck it. I'm done. I'm fucking done, son. Anyway, get those questions in. Like, we're going straight to butt plugs here. Butt plugs time. Get the questions in. Um, the episode's going to record here in just a few days. So get those in. This Saturday, sign up at sfvzinefest.com. The link will be down below. To take my um, free workshop this Saturday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. Okay? And you will write a chat book in an hour. Okay? So let's get to them shout outs. So I want to give a big thank you to you motherfuckers over there on Patreon. I want to give a thank you to Michael, to C, to Harry, to Monse. You guys are awesome. Over there on the YouTube, thank you, crew. I want to give a thank you to Patrick, to Britt, to Jan, to Deb, to Ethan, to Julie, and to Lauren. You guys made me smile just right now. And then for the big swinging dicks over there in the Anarchy crew, I want to give a big thank you to Bunny, to Nate, to Minnie, to Thomas, to Tim, to Jay, to Shaylin, to Tim, G., to Chill Baby, to Tamara, to Adam, to Chase, to JH, to Jessica, to Jason, to Jeff, and to Cedar, thank you so much. And then for the biggest of the thank yous and the swingins, it goes out to the person who sent us this wonderful Reddit post, Caitlin. Caitlin, I hope you're doing well, and we miss you, okay? So... Everybody, the sale that I have on my Etsy shop is still there because I haven't had time to take it down yet. So if you want three books for under 10 bucks and then get a fourth one free, run over there and do the shit, okay? So on the beach, um, last month's chat book is here now. I haven't got to the new one yet. Bloodshed Review, Issue 3, Jeff Taylor, Adam Crawford, Tamara Albana, out now as well as many other things. And um, the Blood Rag issue 14 is available on my website for free if you would like to just download that. Issue 15 will be coming soon. And in case I haven't talked about it on here, the Bloodshed review is going quarterly. So the next issue will be out in November. 
okay? So just keep that in mind. So if you want to do a mentorship thing, hit me up. Um, I will help you plan your career. I will help you plan your daily writing routines, okay? Just send me an email to ihatematwall at gmail.com and I will talk to you about that and let me know what your, what your problem is, what you're trying to get over and all that other shit. Um, everybody else, if you just want to do weekly um, writing prompts and writing Zooms and fun shit like that, join the fucking Anarchy Crew, okay? And if you want to just get into like things like the Bukowski Book Club and shit like that, um, you could just go ahead and join the Thank You Crew on YouTube. So just click that fucking join button under this video if that's where you're watching it. And if you're watching this on iTunes, leave me a fucking review. You know you want to. You know it's the right thing to do. Okay, everybody type hard and i will talk to you beautiful fuckers later i just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible anarchy crew and my followers on patreon i appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible you guys are awesome and if you'd like to join the crew of the anarchy crew just hit the join button beneath this video and if you'd like to become a member of my patreon you can run over to the link down below to do that as well thank you